Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Liz, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite thrifting secrets. My first secret is to be on the lookout for new stores. My thrift store that I typically go to just wasn't having that great of items. So I looked around and actually found another store a little bit farther from where I usually go, but they have some great items. Sometimes it's worth it to travel, you know, 20, 25 minutes to go to a different store if they have really good items. If you're not finding great items, maybe try looking for a new store. Secret number two is to look for wood items whenever you're shopping at the thrift store. You can get some really great quality wood items that retail would cost a lot more. A lot of these items just need a little bit of simple DIY to update them. So I always make sure to look for the wood section. When I'm looking at wood items, I always check out the furniture. This piece I love. This would be updated so nicely. They only want 60, I think it's $60 for it. So I always look at the clocks as well in the wood items and they have several options today. I really like this one and I have a great DIY option. So I'm gonna grab this one. It is $3.99. So this project is inspired by all of the concrete clocks that I've been seeing lately and I wanted to create my own. So I'm just going to start by unscrewing all of the components. I wasn't really sure, you know, what I was getting into, but basically there was three layers of screws that I had to remove, but it was no big deal. I separated all the pieces and I even unscrewed the glass that was in the front of the clock. I'm also gonna be removing the clock hands. Now to start this off, I'm gonna be using Quick Crete. I just have a tiny bit left, so I didn't need a lot for this project. So I'm gonna mix some Quick Crete that you can buy at Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere, with a little bit of water. You want this to be like a thick pudding consistency. Then I'm gonna start by just taking that Quick Crete and I'm gonna put it directly onto the clock face. I'm going to use a foam brush to spread the quick crate around and I'll just let that dry. With the outer portion of my clock, I'm going to paint it with two coats of ink by Waverly. Once the concrete had a chance to dry, I'm going to add the clock hands back on. Then I will put the outer portion on as well and screw that back in place. And here's a look at how this clock turned out. So excited to tell you guys about today's sponsor, ThreadUp. ThreadUp is definitely my favorite online thrifting tip. ThreadUp is an online thrift store. It's so easy to shop online. You can get some top brands like Zara and Free People. Their brands are up to 90% off on the website and ThreadUp also has over 4,000 brands. So really the selection is crazy. I can't wait to show you what I got in my last order. So the first thing I wanted to show you was this Zara top. It kind of goes out, it's a little peplum top and it looks really cute with jeans. This top I got for $29.99, which was the thread up price. Originally this top was $60. This is going to be great for spring and I just love black tops like this. If you guys watch any of my videos, you know I love a cute kimono top. This one is by a brand called Obey. It was only $10.99, originally $18. I also grabbed this old navy white tank top because I needed some new tank tops. This was $6.99, originally $10. I think this outfit is just perfect for spring. It just looks happy and it puts me in a good mood. Floral prints are really in this spring. This DR2 shirt is just the cutest pink. It's kind of a see-through material, so I have a tank underneath. This top was $24.99, originally $70. So cute, such a good deal. Did you guys know that ThreadUp also carries accessories? I found these diff sunglasses. They came in like this cute little case. So cute. Now you'll have to let me know if you guys like these. They were $39.99, originally $95 but I know they're just 
a little dramatic, but I think they're really cute. Of all the things that I've shown you in this haul, this shirt has probably has to be my favorite. It's from a brand called Babaton. It was $17.99, originally $44.99. I just think it's super flattering. I think a lot of ages can wear this style of top, and I just love the way it looks. And I don't know, I usually don't wear, it's kind of like a lilac color. I normally don't wear this color, but I love the way it looks. Have you guys heard that Coach is making a comeback? Well, Thread Up has all of the vintage Coach bags, and when I saw this bag, I thought it was perfect. This bag originally was $350. I got it for $86.99. I really like the size of it because I need more of a tote style bag where I can put my camera in here whenever I'm going to the thrift store or Dollar Tree, and it's just in awesome shape. This shirt was a little bit more, but in my opinion, totally worth it. It's by Free People. It was $50.99, but originally it's $150. Another thing Thread Up has is kids clothes. My kids love ordering off of the website. We grabbed this little Under Armour shirt. It was $15.99, originally $38. Now just alone, those are some awesome deals, but ThreadUp is also going to give you 30% off your first order if you use my promo code, Liz. Go check out their website, see what they have. Secret number three is to make a list of items you need before you go shopping at the thrift store. It can be really overwhelming shopping at the thrift store. There are a ton of items and I know even myself, sometimes I get a little bit overwhelmed. Before I head out to the thrift store, I wanna make a list on my phone of items that I'm needing and I'll have an eye out for when I'm in the thrift store because it can be super overwhelming when you're there because there's just so much to look at. So if you can focus in on those few things that you're looking for, it's way more of a productive trip. So one thing I'm looking for is a large wall art that I can put in my master bedroom. I have a lot of wall space there, so I'm needing some different wall arts. I'm gonna be looking for maybe a large frame or something I can do that's larger. The next thing I'm gonna be looking for is something to organize my hair dryer and straightener a little bit better. So I'm gonna see if I can find some kind of basket for that. So I'm just going to add those into my notes and I'll be ready to go. So I'm always looking for organization containers. I really love this container here, this wire container. I have a great organization idea for it. So I'm gonna start by spray painting this wire container with a white matte spray paint. I'm gonna do one coat, flip it over, and then I'll do a second coat as well. My idea for this piece is to use it in a bathroom to store hot curling irons or a blow dryer that you don't wanna put back in your cabinet and you need somewhere to store them. That's why I have this metal piece. So you can pick up command hooks off of Amazon and then simply put this wire basket on the command hooks. You can have your curling iron in there and this is a great renter friendly option. Tip number four is to look for large scale items at the thrift store. I think finding those larger items really helps you to save money in the long run and makes an impact on your budget whenever you're redoing a room if you can purchase some of those larger scale items at the thrift store. All right, so I'm overlooking at the picture frames. I like this one, I like the size of it. It's $8. The frame could definitely use painting. The thing that I really like about it is the size, and then it also has a nice mat that I can use. The white mat is in good shape, and I have an idea for it. So now that I have the frame, I want to find a piece of fabric that is interesting that I can put in my frame. So I'm at Savers right now. They have a ton of different fabrics to choose from. So I'll see if I can find anything. I think I found the perfect piece of fabric for a frame. It's white and yellow. I could always dye it to a different color and it's $2.99. My first step was to remove all the components of this massive frame. I thought I got a great deal on it for $8. So I'm taking off the backing and then I'm also going to take out the picture as well as the glass. Next, I'm going to be painting my frame. Now I started with a color called Mineral. I actually painted two coats with this, and in the end, I felt like it was too gray for what I was going for. And I actually went back and repainted this with a color called Fawn. 
That happens sometimes. Sometimes I paint it and it's just not the right color, but I was really glad that I went back and you know made the change. Next, I'm gonna be using some craft paper that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put this down as a barrier for my piece and I'm gonna cut off any excess. I'm just gluing this directly to the previous picture that was on there. The reason I'm using the craft paper is because the fabric I'm using is see-through. I decided to stick with the color of it. Yellow is really in right now, so I wanted to use that same color. So I'm just going to be using painter's tape to wrap it around the edge. The hard part here was just trying to make sure that I got it as even as possible. I'm gonna put all of the components back in, making sure it's really clean before I lay it down. Next, I'm gonna add in my mat, and then I'm gonna add in the backing. Here you can see I went back in with that fawn color. This is just more of a brown color, and it actually is kind of a taupe color. And I thought it played really nicely with the brown in the background of that craft paper. I ended up adding a little bit of brown to deepen the color a little bit, but that's what I love to do. I love mixing colors until I have what I'm going for. I put everything back in once again, but really it was totally worth it. And in the end, this turned out so nice. This project cost me under $15 and I think it looks awesome. I walk into the thrift store and you think everything's just not very cute. Well, sometimes you have to look past the appearance of everything. Tip number five is to look at the shape and the size of an item and don't pay attention to the pattern or the color of the item. Those things we can always change. So let's say you find a vase that's really cute, but it's got a pattern on it that's not one of your favorites. You can always take that, spray paint it, update it in so many different ways. You guys, glassware at the thrift store is such a good buy, and I love the shape of this little vase right here. It's only 50 cents, but I just think that would be such a pretty jar sitting out. So I'm gonna take this little 50 cent container, I'm gonna spray paint it with two coats of a matte black spray paint. The spray paint I like is the Rust-Oleum spray paint that you can pick up at Walmart. I'm gonna let this completely dry. Once it's dry, I'm gonna be going in with this little chalk marker that you can get at Dollar Tree. And I decided to create a little three dot triangle. This was so easy to do, I didn't plan it out, I just kind of free handed it all around the dish. You could set this out to put your keys in. You could also put a little succulent in it. I just think it's a really cute little dish and cost me next to nothing. So I really like this container. Not so much that it's clear, but I think we can use it. So I wanna to try to find a plate or something we can use to make this into a tray. I think I like this one the best. Let's see, this is, I'm always doing this on the shelves at the store. That looks pretty good. And I think if we just update the color of the base, that would make a nice tray. This is truly a five minute DIY. Take your white matte spray paint, do two coats of spray paint on here, then you're gonna use some E6000 and you're gonna put your plate on top. This makes a perfect little cake plate tray stand and so easy to do. And it costs me under $2. I hope you guys had fun thrifting and DIYing with me. Let me know down in the comments which project was your favorite. Make sure you guys go check out Thread Up and use my code Liz for 30% off your order. All the links down in the description box. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe. I post two DIYs each week. And if you missed our last video, I'll link it here for you as well. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.